guys you are welcome to my channel today i want to bring a platform to you it's called ship chain now i want you to know something with the crypto space i think um most of these ico platforms there is too much pressure that is being put on them when i'm when i mean this is from your uh from the people side of, of of it i think people need a little form of patience we live in a world where um if something does not go in the way of people for some seconds even some minutes they are like they are screaming and they're like shouting and the rest of them i want you to know something that the gains are in the long time they are always in the long time and your ability to see gold your ability to see treasure where there is no yet treasure it's what will actually give the difference. Your ability to see, your ability to actually see, is what will actually bring the difference. Um, I want to tell you so a story. Two men were actually working in a in a, a in a mine, and during the break time, one of them we actually was was actually working on a machine, inventing the machine, and then the other one was actually doing something that was not very very useful. At the end of the day. This guy who was working on this machine with the, the little time he had with, the, with his break was able to f finish the machine and he sold the machine for a fortune. And that was how he made his money. And this other guy, he continued complaining and the rest of them. What is the essence of the story? The essence of the story is what you do with the little you have is actually what determines uh, uh, the success you have in life. In the sense that you may not have a lot of money to actually come into the block space uh, and to, to actually say, okay, maybe you don't have big money, maybe millions to pump into the system. I myself, I don't have uh, millions to pump into the system. What I have is the little I have and I try as much as possible to gather the best knowledge I can gather because if I have the best knowledge, I can turn a hundred a hundred dollars, I can turn it to a thousand, a, 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 one hundred thousand dollars within a year. I'm, I'm not. I'm not kidding you. It is knowledge. And if you have a hundred thousand dollars, and you don't know what to do with it, you may lose it. You got to understand that. So I'm bringing you. I'm bringing you a platform. It's called uh, Sheep Shape. Now Sheep Shape will be going through some. Uh, will be going through the website. Now, the, the thing about the 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 logistic in the shipping industry, how much the, the evaluation is. So currently it's evaluated at $8.1 trillion. Uh, I'm into the, I'm, I'm, a, um, I'm attending a, a maritime university, studying naval mechanics, so I know what is actually going on within the maritime industry. So, and they are saying that um, with these things that, that is going on, there was, the issue of uh, theft and some other issues. So they gave some of the, uh, the uh, some of the problems that are, that are being faced within the uh, within the maritime industry. Like some of the problems that are being faced now is there is the issue of poor tracking. These things are still being done with the manual and the, the normal paper records and the rest of them, which, which is not very very good with the times. Um, information has actually this uh, uh, changed things within time, but the industry. For the maritime has not actually changed for a while. And then you have the issue of uh, no accountability, though you may, they may not be. It may not be uh, no accountability per se, but there is um, there is little to no accountability within the system. And then you have uh, middlemen always read things. You always know that. And if there is one thing that the uh, the blockchain will actually change is the taking of middlemen with the issues of smart contracts and the rest of them. And then you have um, fractal uh, communication and uh, some other stuff. And also you have uh, misaligned incentives. And then you have uh, cargo theft. So how would they solve that? They will solve that using end-to-end um, -end track and trace. So from like they were talking about maybe. Supposing there was to be a, 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 a supposing there was to be a product from the farm, they would extract that product from the farm from the origin, which is from the source to the to the destination. So everything will be tracked, maybe using barcode or other uh, RFID ships in the rest of them. So these things they are tracked, the information are tracked, and the rest of them. 
and if you've not seen uh, Wabi coin, Wabi coin is a very, very, very unique project. They just launched the ICO. Maybe the price now may, may not be up to uh, more than uh, two dollars. You should actually uh, check Wabi coin. It's a very, very nice project. You have you have to see these things b before. Now they are selling for at least less than two dollars. These are the projects you should actually uh, go after. And, uh, instead of you to buy maybe one coin that may cost forty dollars or three hundred dollars, why not buy this coin that like, costs like maybe one dollar? Buy three hundred of it. This coin with the utility, that coin from one dollar can shoot up to a hundred dollars. Nobody knows or two hundred dollars. Nobody knows. So you've got to discover opportunities where opportunities have never actually exist. Okay, back to the topic, and then they have the issue of um to incentivize our uh, responsibilities. Operators are rewarded for efficient uh, transport routes and for delivering goods on time. So, anybody that's able to actually do that, he gets rewarded and the rest of them. Then you have a uh, platform uh, parity, no middleman and the rest of them. Then you have full visibility with, this, uh, with the issue of blockchain. Everybody will be able to see what is going on with the, uh, with the, uh, with the, with the product and some other stuff. And you can uh, go through this and see uh, and see for yourself and this is the token distribution that per se is currently on and this is everything they want to they, they want to do uh platform other development this is the, uh, to, uh, the uh, last quarter of the year then you have the first quarter of next year token generation events then you have this some of some of the last thoughts and this is the team you can go through the team the the, the founder of the the ceo is is one is the guy that owns the, uh, the founder of this platform they do shipping and, and, and logistics fulfillment and, and other stuff so you can go through the team and see uh this for yourself they have a very t uh good twitter uh following you can uh, go to their insta uh their their telegram group and actually ask them uh, very very good questions then you see um the the advisors you have chris pendium Kevin Harrington, I have to get a very, very uh, big respect for this guy. And then you have uh, these other fellows. Usually, if you have any question, please reach to their team, ask them. I think the best thing people should be doing is when once you see a video on like this, like, like someone was someone was talking about on uh, on on YouTube, he is a YouTuber. You're talking about the uh, YouTubers you should actually listen to. He's talking about the two type of YouTubers. There are YouTubers that tell you okay uh they give you everything like i'm telling you now if you if you've watched most of my videos i tell you no matter the amount of research i tell you go and still make your studies then there are then there are other youtubers who tell you hey get into the get into this now hey it's, it's, it's going it's going it's going it's going the train the train is moving before it's uh before you miss the train get in get in get in get in they don't tell you to go and do your own diligence and maybe you get in you are Maybe you're not getting the results. Have you heard of what they call pump and dump? So you have to understand the, the you have to understand the, the, the mystery behind pump and dump. Uh, and then those some of those other YouTube within that same category are the ones who flash it before you and say two point two million dollars. Hi, I made six hundred uh six hundred thousand dollars within a few months, and you were like, Hi, I bought Lamborghini and the rest of them. Listen, those are people who play to your fantasy. The best thing is when you want to see a video like this, every uh every video you see, whether my video or every other, any other video, it should you should you should take it as information, and then you go and study, and you can take a very good advice. So this platform, I have a very very a large respect uh a, a very very large respect for these platforms. Let's see some of their sponsors. We've seen the advisors. Let's see some of the sponsors. So these are uh, some of the uh, partners. We have um Purdue Farms. Pedu Farms is a parent company of Pedu Foods and Pedu Agri Business based in Salisbury, Maryland. So you can go through this. Then, Adband, Influensive, Sweetbridge, Beta Blockchain, Introk, uh, Introk and Alliance. Then you have Crypto Valley and the rest of them. So they have a very very strong team. They want to change. Uh, they want to change the the blockchain space. Can go through some of the, the you you go to some of the links and you will see some of the things they, they say about them. Now, if you have a, if you've got any question, um, most of these ICOs they have a platform where you can actually ask them questions. 
ask them any question maybe you don't know about ship uh, shipping and the rest of them ask them any questions and i would advise you to be very very patient the, the saying that says the patient dog eats the fattest bone it's not a just i don't think it's if uh, i don't think it's a very very uh it's, it's not a uh, fable per se you have to understand what they call patience then you have to understand what they call uh when to be you have to understand when to be patient and when to be patient if there is one problem with uh, the, uh a, a lot of people is the issue of patience someone says okay i've been doing this thing for a while for one month now nobody's not to see me no when you there was a guy who invented uh some cleaners uh, this vacuum cleaners uh, i have forgotten the vacuum cleaner he said he did five uh fifty uh five thousand experiments before he actually came up with a very good one everybody wants to celebrate thomas edison but sometimes you don't we don't understand that it is patience in getting in, 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 in continuous and patience essentially what is going to give you a lot of stuff so my take on what, what you should do is after this a video like this go through the white paper yourself ask them questions they answer your questions then you will know when to take a best decision as you will say wow hey i missed such an opportunity like this it actually came to my notice and i was like uh maybe there was not there was not uh, there was not more uh, there was little or no hype around the project and i missed it so guys that's all i have to say about this project do have a very good day